Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to take a look at the SwitchBot thermometer and agrometer, both the regular version and the plus version, but with one thing in mind, which is to continue the work that we have done on the last video, which was to control our air conditioner or AC using this device, which is the SwitchBot Hub Mini and our phone so we can control our air conditioner from anywhere in the world with only the app that you are seeing already here on screen today we are going to give another step and we are going to use the thermometer to say to the air conditioner when the temperature reaches above x i want you to turn on my ac and when the temperature reaches below y i want you to turn off my ac so this is really interesting because the ac will be even more smarter than what it is don't forget to check out the cdkeysales.com website i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and they also have office 2021 we have tested the platform many times here on the channel i've shared some videos with you so if you search on our channel you will find that how to purchase and how to activate everything runs smoothly so i have no issues in recommending and it's the sponsor of this video now let's take a look at what we have right over here but i will do the reverse instead of talking about these devices first and then how to operate we are going to do exactly the opposite we are going to check out how easy it is to operate and to uh, make my ac even more smarter and then we will talk about those that's fair okay let's go so you are seeing the app right over there i've got quite a few devices here and growing the list some of them i've got but not using at this moment like some buttons if you have devices that need physical buttons make them work like older washing machines and so on and so forth search the, the channel for switch bot and you will find reviews on that also switch uh, bot for curtains which are really really awesome we have seen those right over here now let's focus here on this one if i go to one of these um, meters right over here and i can go to the meter plus n which is the latest version which is this one a little bit bigger i can just go to the options and if i go to cloud services and scenes i've got uh, two automatic executions right over here and we will see the software in just a few moments but at this moment i've got to turn on the ac at certain temperature and so on and so forth above 27 degrees celsius and to turn off the ac below 24 degrees celsius but it's in portuguese and i'm going to delete this scene you are going to see how easy it is to create right over here and i'm going to delete this scene as well so let's delete this and bam there we go so now i'm going to go out of this and i'm going to turn off my ac for a while i don't want to update the device i've got a few updates here to do uh, let's go to the ac and you are going to listen that off but i'm here but i could be anywhere else in the world that i could do this i can change temperatures i can change the mode eat cool uh, humidifier and things like that so if you haven't checked the last video check the link down below and you will see how cool this is i will leave links also for the thermometers and the hub mini just in case you want to check that out because in terms of pricing they are cheap and they do a great work with a really nice app right over here now let's go to the meter plus that i've got right over here let's go to the settings and let's go to uh, cloud services and scenes so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to tell my ac that i want uh, a condition and that condition I want based on a device I could choose manual execution I could schedule which is cool as well I can turn on at nine o'clock and turn off at five o'clock or something like that but it's not as fun as everything uh, being automated by temperature which is a lot cooler NFC trigger as well but I want it based on one of my devices I'm going to choose the plus n uh, n is just the name that I give and I want it based on temperature so if it's higher than let's say 27 degrees which probably it will reach again it's at 26 right now let's put okay i want an action which action do i want so i'm going to select here and it will show me the devices that i have i can if i have another devices like a curtain it will show me uh, to open the curtain and close the curtain if i want to but at this moment i believe that this is the one of the best scenarios so i'm going to choose my office ac and I want it to turn on, so I pressed on. It did record the action, 
you probably seen a red dot right over there and I'm going to press minus 24 minus 23 and I'm going to say cool it's already cool and the fan I wanted fan level 1 speed 1 and basically I'm going to leave it like this so I'm going to say OK and at this moment I can select the um, the scene name so that I don't lose the scenes that I have if I only have one it's easy but if I have many then it's getting complicated so I'm going to say above and press OK I'm going to press here test and it will give me this warning here I want to execute just to make sure that it's correct what I've chosen so let's execute it will send the order and there we go 23 degrees right over there which was what we programmed and that, that is okay so let's move out and right now every time that the thermometer will reach 27 degrees what happens is that it will turn on my AC but in my opinion it's incomplete because it will be always on and that makes no sense so what I want to do is to give an order to turn off when it reaches a certain uh, temperature. So let's do the inverse at this moment. I'm going to select a condition, also the meter plus N. I can say temperature once again, and at this moment, lower than, let's say 24 degrees, um, I want an action, and, those, and that action is on the same AC, which is the office AC. I want basically just one action, and you can see the, the dot right over there. If I press off, it will blink red. Off. There we go. I hope that you could see right over there. It just recorded the action. It's like a macro, something like that. And here I don't want to change anything else because it's just going to shut down. And I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to change the name right over there. Done. OK. And what I can do right now is test if it's working or not. So I can press here, test, execute. And bam, just turn off the AC. So my action is okay at this moment what i've got is two actions one of which will turn on the ac to cool we could say warm but it's cool at this moment and it will turn on at 23 degrees cooling down the environment and then when the uh, thermometer reaches the 24 degrees it will shut down the ac so it will get the temperature of the office always between 24 and 27. not really sure if this is the appropriate but this is one of the examples on your side you could choose something else different i want from 20 to 22 so it's in a different area cooler and something like that or we could do the opposite i want to warm up my room because it's winter or something like that so this is just great now what i want to show as well is uh, this is the latest model the plus version it comes inside this package right over here i will show you quick images in terms of the unboxing nothing really special it's powered by batteries it lasts for a long time I'm not really sure how long but i've got one unit right over here that lasts for months and months and months i've got for about two years or so at the back and i can show you right over here in a moment but the older model is also really cool smaller um, they are both available for sale I will leave links down below it also comes with an accessory that we can put it on a different angle they are really nice we can hang it on the wall it's magnet we it has a, a magnetic thingy that we can put it anywhere and if you want to put it on a fridge or something like that you can also do the plus version also has here a screw hole that we can hold to a wall so it's just a matter of personal taste if you want something bigger and thinner the plus version if you want something smaller and a bit more fatty <laughs> then the regular version is fine but both of them are really incredible i do believe that they will do a great marriage <laughs> with the uh, mini to do this kind of automatization but if you want just something simple to have on your app to show you the temperatures and things like that even without automatizations it's just a great addition one is 14 euros and the other one 19 i think if if i'm not mistaken but links will be down below for the updated prices now what can we see on the meter and uh, meter plus and the regular version desired conditions is basically only notifications if i want to get notifications based on temperature or based on humidity let's say that i want um, 
besides the automatization or turning on the AC, I want to be alerted if the temperature goes above a threshold that I do believe that it's dangerous for the environment that I've got. And it, this is not a fire alarm and thing like that, but we can simulate something similar that it will alert us if the temperature is too high and probably that is a situation that it's dangerous. So this is a great option. I'm going to leave um, off by now. It has the calibration mode, but they work really nice. When I did unbox both, uh, these units they were with a little different uh, difference on temperature but uh, once I leave them for about 15 minutes or so they just went fine but if you find that it's not calibrated with your device that you have and you are used to it you can calibrate the temperature or the humidity based on that other device and this is a great thing from SwitchBot. Comfort level this is nice so that we can see a long time uh, if we are on comfort level, when we are not on comfort levels and things like that. So I can say that my comfort level is this in terms of temperature and in terms of humidity, it's like this. I can save it and then when I go and analyze the data, it will show me uh, the moments in time that I were comfortable and the moments in time that I was not comfortable, which is really, really cool. Now, if I go to the temperature units, I can select between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, cloud services, we have everything right over here, including the scenes that we already seen. Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, EFTT, and we also have Home Assistant, which is really awesome. And soon I will bring a video to show the features that we can do on Home Assistant, because I also have a few questions and I still haven't had the time to fully integrate with my home assistant installation at the back which is something that i really love as you guys know but basically we have this all these functions and we have nfc firmware and battery device info and some frequently asked questions and basically this is it let me show you the history that i've got on one of my um, older temperature meters and i did reset it on the beginning of this month I had to do a reset on some of my devices here because of network issues and this was one of which which i lost all the data but i would have available here for the year actually i do have some data left here from 2021 i'm not really sure i had some issues in the network so as you can see i've got no data here but uh, by some reason it did record the data from last year which is really really nice so as you can see i've got at least one year of data but incomplete and um what i was about to show is that i can see for for example in this uh, particular scene week the maximum temperature the average and the minimum temperature and we can check out right over here at which time i did have higher temperatures and then which time i had lower temperatures and with the ac we can make some adjustments so that we have a lower average and that the environment is a bit more comfortable so and if we want to turn on the ac automatically based on the temperature then we will need to add a hub mean prices are nothing special especially having in consideration other devices that we have seen more expensive some of them cheaper but with bad bad results and these i do believe that in terms of price for what they offer are just just awesome also awesome would be a thumbs up from you on that side of the screen just in case you find this video useful and if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up which is really appreciated my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one